Hi, Brent Tech here. Where Tech is made simple. Just a quick video to let you know that the stable version of the Google Chrome web browser, version 98, if you are using the browser on Windows 10, has a, received a bold point release update to the browser. Now, when version 98 rolled out about a week or so ago, um, there were actually two different uh, versions that rolled out for Windows 10 and Windows 11. Windows 10 got 98.0.4758.81 and Windows 11 got 98.0.4758.82. Now there is no explanation from Google in the release notes or any change logs why this happened and there's, they've actually given no explanation. And today it came to my attention, if we just head up to our menu help about Google Chrome, that if you are using the browser now on Windows 10, that, that version and build now has been upgraded to 98.0.4758.82, which is now exactly the same as it is uh, on Windows 11, if you are using the browser on Windows 11. So there is no explanation, as I say, why we have gone from 0.81 to 0.82 uh, on Windows 10. But normally the point releases on the end carry uh, important security updates and bug fixes. And when version 98 rolled out about a week or so ago there were 27 security flaws that had been addressed and a lot of those were high, i think eight or so of those were high severity and high vulnerability security uh, flaws that were addressed so whichever version of windows you are running and you are using the google chrome browser on a regular basis just make sure that you are, are up to date and go into your menu help about google chrome will update you to the latest version be it 81 or 82 but now as i say i've seen today that both windows 10 and windows 11 are now sitting at the latest version and bold ending in point 82 and at this stage there's nothing in the release notes or explanation but if i do find out anything more or get more information why this is actually happening i will post and let you know accordingly so i hope you found this video useful once again thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.